Hi guys and welcome to Cultonomics. My name is Paul Hanley and today I'm going to be chatting to you about the circular flow model of the economy. So this video is going to describe the circular flow model of the economy, which is a simplified version of a modern macro economy. We will start off with our basic concept here, which is a household. And this is one of the basic building blocks of the circular flow. So households, individuals are spending in the economy. The second major building block of the circular flow is firms and firms are the producing sector of the economy. So firms are producing output goods and services from which households can spend and purchase. In order to link those two together, what we will see is we also have a factor for markets of production. So to bind these, we have a market which combines both households and firms and lets them interact together. The type of things to interact with is labor, land and capital. These are provided by households, so the raw materials for production. And what we see is that households receive an income for this. And this is one way to measure the size of an economy, the GDP level of an economy. Looking at it from the other perspective, we have firms who dip into this market, who are looking for factors of production, who are looking for land, labour and capital. And they will pay these a going rate in the market, be that wages, rent and profits. And if you add up this income level, you generate a GDP measure as well. We also have another way and another market to join these different components. So we also have the market for goods and services, where we move from factors of production to the actual products and services produced. So firms obviously will produce their goods and services and sell them in these markets to households, in which case they'll generate a revenue, which is another measure of the size of economic activity, the GDP. And from this market for goods and services, we can also see that households are going to spend. So goods and services are bought and they're sold into this market. And from the buying perspective, we look at the spending aspect of it. And all this spending added together will give you GDP as well. So this circular flow is a way of measuring the size of an economy from different perspectives, be that revenue, spending or the income levels in an economy. And this is the basic perspective of a circular flow of the macro economy, revenue circulating around the economy. I hope you call back to Cultnomics soon. Bye for now.